In today's readings, God calls us to work in the vineyard, each doing our part to ensure a good harvest. Jesus promises the kingdom of God to those who produce its fruit. We pray that we may be nourished in word and sacrament so that we may go forth and produce fruit for the kingdom. Welcome to St. Timothy's Catholic Church in Walkersville, Maryland. Today, we are celebrating the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Presiding at the Eucharist is our pastor, Father Juan Vasquez Rubio. Our Mass is being offered for Dominic Argiro, Dave Miller, and Michael and Barbara Day for their anniversary. Gracious mercy, sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth, praise the name above all names. Say to God, how wondrous your word. Your name. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us as a Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you are the Lord of the harvest. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the way that leads to peace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the tireless servant of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. 
Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Let me sing now of my friend, my friend's song concerning his vineyard. My friend had a vineyard on a fertile hillside. He spaded it, cleared it of stones, and planted the choicest vines. Within it, he built a watchtower and hewed out a wine press. Then he looked for the crop of grapes, but what it yielded was wild grapes. Now, inhabitants of Jerusalem and people of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I had not done? Why, when I looked for the crop of grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? Now I will let you know that I mean to do with my vineyard. Take away its hedge, give it to grazing, break through its wall, let it be trampled. Yes, I will make it a ruin. It shall not be pruned or hoed, but overgrown with thorns and briars. I will command the clouds not to send rain upon it. The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the people of Judah are his cherished plant. He looked for judgment, but see bloodshed, for justice, but hark the outcry. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. of the Lord is the house of Israel. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. vine from Egypt you transplanted you drove away the nations and planted it it put forth its foliage to the sea it shoots as far as the river the vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel the vineyard of Why have you broken down its walls so that every passerby plucks its fruit? The boar from the forest lays its waste, and the beasts of the field feed upon it. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted. The Son of Man whom you yourself made strong. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Then we 
we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life and we will call upon your name. O oh Lord God of hosts, restore us. If your face shine upon us, then we shall be saved. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the peace of the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. chosen you from the world, says the Lord, to go and bear fruit that will remain. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he listed two tenants and went to a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again, he sent other servants, more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those servants when he comes? They answer him, he will put those wretched men to a wretched death and list his vineyard to other servants who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in, in our eyes. Therefore, I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. The Gospel 
of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This weekend's this weekend the readings are so appropriate as we celebrate the feast day of St. Francis of Assisi, an environmentalist and lover of God's green earth and creation. In our first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, we hear a rich depiction of our God who desires everything good for humanity. Rich foods, a harvest of justice, and life in abundance. In the gospel, we are reminded that God invites us to hope for salvation. In the parable, a wealthy landowner wanted his due, but the tenants rebelled and got the crazy idea that if they eliminated the owner's servants and son, they would be the winners, taking all. Jesus' parable is a reproach the religious leaders who rebelled, rebelled against God and ignored all the prophets sent to call them to task. We could easily apply this parable to criticize our own leaders' lack of faithful stewardship. But, like it or not, using a parable to point a finger at another is a self-righteous distortion of Jesus' message. He would not tolerate it from us any more than he did from his contemporaries. We must ask how this applies to us. When we listen to Isaiah's song of the vineyard as a depiction of God's vintage point on human life and the earth we have been given, we hear of God's tenderness for all creation, the loving gaze with which God watches over evolution with all its green growth and transformation. We then hear God's heartbreak, the wild grapes of bitterness and discord sprout instead if the good fruit to be transformed into the wine, wine of joy and harmony. When we listen to the parable of the rebellious tenants, instead of, taking, of thinking of those people, we have to hear it addressed to all of us as the stewards of our earth. There can hardly be a more direct way of implicating us as the tenants in Jesus' parable. They have forgotten who they were. Instead of acting like servants or collaborators with the honor, they decided that they should be the sole masters, beholden to no one, privileged to eliminate anyone who got in their way. When Jesus asked the chief priests and the Pharisees what the honor would do to these tenants, they answer, he will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants. Instead, Jesus only asks for new tenants. He did not call for the elimination of the rebels, but for others to take their place and do what needed to be done. What about today? When we read this parable in the light of our world situation, are we those wretched tenants? Pope Francis reminds us that God has entrusted this earth to us. We cannot deny that our common home has suffered great destruction with real consequences to human life. If we do not act now, we are endangering our own destiny and lives. This was not God's plan 
for his creation. At this Eucharist, we come to celebrate God's precious gift of life. Now more than ever, it's our responsibility to pray for a restoration and balance to God's green earth and act accordingly. And now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through, Through him, him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now in prayer, we present our needs and concerns before God's altar. For the church, that we may be worthy of producing good fruit to build up the kingdom of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For world leaders, that they may have the courage to do what is right and just, even when it is not easy or popular, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may foster and encourage a true and lasting respect for all human life, especially for the most vulnerable and those at the margins of society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those most affected by the coronavirus, those without the resources or ability to overcome the effects of this pandemic and its socioeconomic repercussions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our parish community, that we may work together to bear fruit that helps our neighbor materially and spiritually. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who harvest in fields and on farms, in orchards and vineyards, that they may be paid a just wage and treated humanely. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who cannot join us in celebrating the Eucharist, the hospitalized and the homebound, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our sister parish, St. Jerome in Haiti, that they may receive the spiritual and material blessings they need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken, and for all the faithful departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you have entrusted us with this fruitful planet and your grace to continue to the task of building up your kingdom. Provide us with the tools we need to make this world wonderful in your eyes. We ask this 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I am the vine and you the branches Remain in me as I remain in you You will bear great fruit in me A new commandment I give that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our, our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is really right and just a duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy our mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, in need of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be proud for you and for many for their forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember that your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. The mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who are pleased through all the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. In confidence, let us call upon our God as Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. For, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Offer each other a sign of peace. This is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Tell the good, good news.